Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very powerful and exciting video of factorial equations, we'll be solving here n plus 5 factorial over n plus 1 factorial equal to 3024. While solving, we'll see notation, factorial, basic definition, algebraic manipulation, identities, and we'll calculate our answer. If you have to guess n value, then you can find out in next 1 minute, 30 seconds, you can find out your answer. But I will show you exactly the algebraic part of the solution. So let's get started. I will start by writing recursive formula for factorial. So that is n factorial. We can write as n times n minus 1 factorial. Or you want to write then we can write n n minus 1 up to 1. So I will use this formula here. I will write n plus 5 factorial as n plus 5, n plus 4, n plus 3, n plus 2, n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 factorial. So this n plus 1 will be over and your right hand side is 3024. Now this factorial equation converted into one quartic equation if you will see it. n plus 5, n plus 4, n plus 3, n plus 2 equal to 3024. So the maximum degree you can see here that is 4. So quartic equation is this degree 4. And if you want to solve this question using general mathematics, then you have to convert into two quadratics. Then you will find out those factors. One small trick which we have seen already in the past videos. If you will consider those brackets all together means at one place where your product the constant term is if you see 5 plus 2 that 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 number let me write and then i will explain n plus 5 and n plus 2 and in second set i will write n plus 4 n plus 3 equal to 3024 so this bracket and this bracket all together at one place and this curly bracket n plus 5 n plus 2 at one place what is the advantage of that if you will take the product so that product will come out n square 5n plus 2n 7n plus 10 and second bra bracket if you will take the product then it will come out n square plus 4n plus 3n, 7n plus 12 equal to 3024. Both parentheses you can see it is having n square plus 7n common. So here we will substitute n square plus 7n equal to t. This term we will call t so that our calculation will be minimized. Okay, so only one quadratic you will get here. So let me write t plus 10 and in second bracket I will write t plus 12. So t plus 10 into t plus 12 that would be 3024. Okay, let me write here t plus 10 t plus 12 equal to 3024. Okay, now we, we will find out the value of t. Let me write here what we considered t. t was x square n square plus 7n. Remember this our substitution. Okay, let us find out. So that would be t square 12t plus 10t, 22t plus 120. 
equal to 3024. Now take 3024 to the left. It will give us t square plus 22t. Take away 3024 from 120 with negative sign. So that will be 2904 equal to 0. Let's find out the value of t. I am applying, this is quadratic in t. I am applying quadratic formula. Minus b, so minus 22, plus minus square root, 22 is square, 484, minus 4ac. C is already negative, so that value will have positive sign. 4 times 2904, so that value will be 11,616 divided by 2a so 2 okay now 11616 plus 484 that is very lucky number for us because that will generate root free value so 1 2 1 0 0 now we know that 1 to 1 square root of 1 to 1 that is 11 and 100 that is 10 so plus minus 1 1 0 over 2 minus 11 plus minus divide both numbers by 2 so 55 if I will consider plus sign in between then 55 minus 11 44 and minus sign in between then minus 66 So two values of t we are having t is equal to 44 and t is equal to minus 66. Now we will check this is our t. So there are actually two equations. First one is let me write both. I am putting t equal to minus 66. So let us write n square plus 7n equal to minus 66. So n square plus 7n plus 66 will be equal to 0. Now find out discriminant unnecessarily why we should find out. So discriminant that is b square minus 4ac. So b square let me write that value 4ac. Okay b square is 7 e square minus 4 times 1 times 66. So it is 49 minus 66 into 4. So that value will come out negative. So complex solution, so we won't find out complex solution as we know factorial is defined for whole numbers, n must be whole number. So we cannot accept this solution for our value of n. Now we, we have second option that is second value of t that is t is equal to 44. Okay, so now we will put n square plus 7n equal to 44 equal to 44 so n square plus 7n minus 44 is equal to 0 okay let's write quadratic formula directly minus b so minus 7 plus minus square root b square so 49 minus 4 ac so that value will be 4 times 1 times minus 44 so that will be plus 4 times 44 becomes 176 over 2a so 2 minus 7 plus minus if you will add both you will get 225 over 2 minus 7 plus minus 15 the square root of 225 is 15 over 2 so let me take plus sign so 15 minus 7 that means 8 over 2 and minus sign then minus 22 over 2. So there are two values of n 4 and negative 11. So we will reject negative 11. Why? Rejected. Why we will reject this value because once I will put n equal to minus 11 here in this equation our original equation then this factorial will convert into negative value negative 6 negative 6 factorial over negative 10 factorial that is not acceptable acceptable because we know that n should be greater than or equal to 
zero for every integer value. Okay, so now n is equal to four is our solution. Now let's verify this value. Okay, what I will do? I will simply put n is equal to four in the given value. So four plus five factorial over four plus one factorial. So that is nine factorial over five factorial. So nine factorial is three six two eight eight zero five factorial. We know that is one twenty. If you will calculate this value, then this is coming out three zero two four, which is our right hand side. That means n is equal to four is our final and correct solution for the given factorial equation. I hope you like this video. This is the mathematics behind this algebraic part. You can solve like this. I hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and give like impression also.